this, as you see, is the theatre. It's very close to what it would have been like 400, 500 years ago. I want you to come round the way that the actors come round when they go into the theatre, just so as you get the general feeling. Have you? Oh, great. Very good. But not, has anybody else been here before? No. I've, I've been here, but I've never been inside. Right. This is the thing to do. But first of all, it's just worth, worth turning round over just to look at St Paul's Cathedral, which, of course, wasn't there. That, that, that cathedral was built after the Great Fire of London, but there was a huge cathedral, almost the biggest cathedral in Europe over there. And the theatre was the kind of opposite of the, of the, of the, of the church. The theatre was a, a very disreputable and bawdy kind of place, and the church was supposedly everything that the, the theatre wasn't. This bit is where the actors would have put their costumes on. I doubt if they would have worn any makeup. They might have done if they were playing a prince or an old person. Uh, and uh, it was called, Connor, this place was called the Tiring House because it's a tiring. You put your clothes on here if you tire yourself here. Up there is the uh, upper level, which is where the musicians were and the lords and the ladies. We'll go up there later. I just want you to see what happened. If, uh, if you're an actor in this theatre, and if you had been an actor in the theatre of 500 years ago, when you went on stage, this is what you would have seen, right? No, no. Whoa. Wow. Oh, Ooh, very wow. Massive. Very old. Some <laughs> people. Here we go. Where's the roof? Where's the roof? There's no roof. Shakespeare was basically writing about things that everybody in his world knew about. He knew that love, family, power, poverty, all of that. And one of the big things in their society was violence. There was a lot of violence. People. Uh, were frequently, uh, there was a lot of murder and death, and there was a lot of fighting. And this scene that we're looking at, obviously, as you know, is a fighting scene, and the Elizabethan audience would have found it exciting, but also bad news, because they were used to gangs in their own uh, towns and suburbs and so on. And so many Elizabethan plays have a fight scene in, and the actors have to become really good at learning how to fight. So the fights division of the theatre was very important. You see, this is Philip Dorléans, who Philip. is a fight director. His whole job is staging fights. What we're going to be doing is a little bit knife fighting. Let me just introduce my assistant. This is Alex. He spent, he spent most of the summer performing on this stage. He's also a very experienced actor combatant. He's done a lot of fights in his time. The reason the role of the fight director exists in theatre is because it's potentially dangerous creating fights on stage. The whole idea is that you keep your partner safe. Alex, if you could bring me two of the props that we're using, please. Please, Alex. Okay, guys, listen, they're made out of rubber. They're plastic. Oh, they oh, will oh, not oh, cut or stab you. However, <laughs> if you stab somebody in the eye with this, it will take their eye out. Okay? First thing to do, pairs. So grab yourself one partner. All right, decide with your partner who's going to be me and who's going to be Alex. All right. He's not going to let the assistant win, is When we demonstrate, <coughs> when we demonstrate, focus on the person whose side of the fight you're doing. Okay, if you're doing my side, watch me. If you're doing Alex's side, watch him. Guys, this is a fight that tells a story. On stage, we create the illusion of violence, not the reality of violence. You will see it fast later. Eye contact, prep, Alex moves back. I cut and move in. Eye contact, look at the stomach, prep, Alex moves back, I slash and step in. Eye contact, Alex looks at the target, I move and then brush past as he thrusts through. Any questions? That is the first part. <laughs> But it's all the silver stuff. Oh, you're right, you know, it does hurt a little bit. A little bit if that was in the eye. Yeah, it's all the silver stuff. Ow! Folks, may I suggest that we stop stabbing each other? Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Just get him over and down with What speed are we going to work? Really fast. 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 Really fast.
then you got and then after the you got and then you got I don't want to cut my hand off. See the first one, are we, are, we actually, are we meant to be missing them? Are we meant to be dodging them? Dodge them. Yes. Are we meant to be dodging the first ones? Yeah. When you go like that. I'm meant to do that. Like that. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. 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 Make sure you say yeah. it. Yeah. 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 This is no, this is too much. It's too much. Ready? Sit nice and slow. I'm going see what you're doing. Nice, nice. Keep going. When you're doing the choreography, you dip your head down. You might hit something on your way past. So always be looking at where you're going. Second phrase, second phrase of the fight, guys. <laughs> so, what, if you're doing my side, watch me. If you're doing Alex's side, watch Alex. I'm doing the slicing. Eyes, look at the stomach, thrust. Eyes, look at his knife, move. Slice that Eyes, ponytail. Look at his back. Slice that back. All right, with your partner, move back into the you space. Watch out for the edges. Go slow, folks. Go slow. Okay, so second bit, yeah? <laughs> second bit, yeah. phrase. So I go. I go for the right? No, he stabs you first. He will go like this, right? Then you wash his hand away. Push him away. Then push his hand away. Then go for where his head was, right? Then you go try to stab your back. So you do. So you move forward. Do your worst. First three. You, no, you don't stab him, he has to stab you. Yeah. So you don't, so all you do, when he goes to stab, after you put, after you go like that, you move forward, yeah, yeah. and stop him from cutting you. Yeah, you, yeah. Don't stab him. you don't stab him. You don't stab him. You don't stab him. <laughs> I, I just need to demonstrate that once more. Once though. more. Try me before I can really get it right. Go stab him. Push him, I go like that, then he tries yeah, to yeah. slap me, and then I go forward. Right, but don't you go towards his back? No. Isn't that the idea? He goes towards my back, I don't go towards his back. Oh, I right. got yeah. Now it's your turn, Sam. Now you see the master has demonstrated. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. You've done well, it, but you don't turn around. You don't turn around, don't but you've done it. Keep going, right? yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Uh, so well well instructed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> see? You're, you're never too old to learn. Wow. You see that? <laughs> Okay, this is the last part of the fight, and once you've got this, you've got the whole thing. <laughs> so, if you're doing my side for this, side. for this number three, you turn your grip from this into this. Yeah. Okay, so a little psycho or ice pick grip. <laughs> Alex stays the same. Now, <laughs> so he does a big diagonal, out, and a big <laughs> diagonal, out, and then I try to stab him. Now. And this is incredibly important, folks, because if I, if I get this wrong, I will hit my partner. Do not look at your partner's eyes now. Look at this space over the shoulder and do this. Imagine there's somebody behind him and stab the person behind him. Up it comes, it goes in. Alex moves and blocks with his left hand. How close am I to his head? Not, not, not at all. Because if I do get close to his head, I may stab him in the eye. And eye contact, lift, and stab behind him. He does the block. From here, he tries to stab me. Let's just turn around this way. He's going to try and stab me here. And I stop it. And now, in a real fight, we'd head by more kick him in the groin. But this is theatre. We're telling a story. And this is a fight that can go on and loop and loop and loop. So from here, we have a little bit of struggle, struggle. Gently, gently, do not push hard against your partner. Share the moment and then push. Gently, gently, share the moment. No, because, guys, the scene that you're doing with Simon is a big fight that gets interrupted. And it would change, the timing would change every night. And so we'd just make a fight that can go on, because you would do this and then start at the beginning again with everybody fighting. The audience would never know that it was the same fight. <laughs> All right, eye contact. Yeah. Alex does a big diagonal slash. We move to our left. Alex does a big diagonal slash. We move to our right. Eye contact. Stab behind him. 
He blocks eye contact. He tries to stab beside us. We block. And push clear. Guys, one of the other things when you're doing these blocks, flat like this. Thank you, Alex. Like this. Otherwise, you won't damage your thumb. You block like that. If it was a real fight, they would have got your twisted ring. So the block's coming in. And this block as well, folks. Open hand. See that? Palm, thumb tucked, all flat. Okay. Slowly, with your partner, off you go. Lean that way, go that way. Now lean that way. Good. Remember you're holding the knife like that. Now stab here behind me. Good. Catch my arm. Struggle, 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 and share then the moment. share the moment. For sure. So, are you me? Yeah, I'm me. Okay, so you're holding it like this. So you're going to do a big diagonal slash and just lean that way. Now, hang on, don't go through his face. Don't try to hit me. He's a tall, he's a tall bloke. So you want to be up there like that, nice and safe. Okay. You always change your mind because I'm left-handed. Yeah, the love. All right, guys, we're just going to show you the three phrases together. We'll show you how the fight looks together. So, slowly, slowly to begin with, it goes boom, boom, boom. Boom. Yes. Oh, that was fantastic. Now. Yeah, please fast. Yeah, fast. fast. <laughs> <laughs> this is quite violent. <laughs> 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 oh, you ain't getting in there. Yeah. Round two, round two. <laughs> Having shown you it fast, I want you to keep going slow. But I want you to go one, two, and three, and try and put the whole thing together. All right, find some space and start working. Okay, guys. 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 Where they tell the story. Then Capulets and Montagues, the two warring gangs, right, Connor? Listen. Capulets, Montagues, both on either opposite sides. Then there's the citizens, the people that are whose lives are just made hell because of the fighting going on between these guys. And then there's the prince, who is the ruler of the state. He's in charge of the whole thing. You, you know what this scene is, you know what the situation is. These guys just hate the sight of each other. Yeah. You're ready to explode at, given a second, it's the slightest provocation, you'll just explode. There are rules, right, really strong rules laid down by the prince that there's to be no fighting in the street whatever, okay? But being who you are, the moment you see Montagues, or the moment you see Capulets, you want to kill. All this stuff that Philip's been doing, all that is kind of inside you. These, the, the desire to right, wipe them out, damage them really seriously. So important issue is that you're of different class, right? Oh, you're, you're much higher. You boys are servants, okay? Now remember that you've got to, you, you've got to tell everybody here, 2,000 people, what this play is about. They know nothing about it at all, okay? Two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona, where we... Lay off. <coughs> right, okay, you know what I mean. Two households, two families, both equally powerful and strong, and, the, and it's being it's taking place in Verona. So you're telling the audience, this is Verona, right? Okay. If you, Daniel, what do you say? I say, from ancient blood to break human mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands uncommunicable. Right, okay, got it? Do you know what that means? Obviously. Yeah. Ancient grudge, you know. It's a fight. It's not very long. They've been fighting for years, right? Now it's new, 
and then right, they started again. And posh people are getting Civil involved. blood means like within a community. Civil blood, exactly. Makes your hands unclean, so you're fighting against another. Exactly. Yeah. And it makes their hands unclean, okay? Which, but their children's end now could remove. It's now the two hours trying to remove the children. Which, but their children's end now could remove. It's now the two hours traffic of our stage. This is the story we're going to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, okay? After they've said that, in other words, telling the audience what it's all about, then you guys come on the stage and you, you're having a, a kind of bawdy chat about <laughs> all of that. And then suddenly you see Jordell, right? And it's like, shall we, are we going to fight him, right? So what you've got to do is to set the kind of uh, uh, the tension. You've seen him, but this is a conversation between you two, all right? So you're saying, hold on. But it's a Montague, right? It's a Montague, it's a Montague, Montague in the house. But guys, just remember, it's dangerous for you as well. Because these are also killing machines, these boys. The main thing is to remember, you've got these knives, right? Which are actually really, you kill people with these knives. They're broken bottles, right? Everything's changed now, now it's changed. But then he says, can we do this thing, right? And then you start on this strange thing that the ritual they've got about biting their thumbs, right? Yeah, it's just, that's precisely it, Henry, you've got it, exactly. You. Guys, I just want, if I can just, if we can just go away, having found this moment where there's kind of danger suddenly in the air, then we're in with a chance. Okay, so, let's go. Draw that two, two. Here comes to the house of Montecues. My naked weapon is that crow, I shall bat me. I will throw as I pass by and let them take it as they wish. Nay, as they dare, I will bite my thumb at them, which is a disgrace to them. Do you bite your thumb at us, sir? I bite my thumb, sir. Do you bite your thumb at us? Is the law of our side if I say A? Okay, good. I'll do him first, then That's right, very good. But this is good. So, uh, 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 what you have to do, you, you did very well that moment of uh, shock. Whoa. But then you have to put that into the line. If you say, oh, yeah, 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 cool. <laughs> exactly. So it's like that, okay? Just stop now. Draw that tool. Here comes two of the house of the Montagues. My naked weapon is out. Crow, I shall bat thee. I will throw as I pass by and let them know as they take it as they list. Nay, as they dare, I will bite my thumb at them, which is a disgrace to them. Do you bite your thumb at us, sir? I do bite my thumb, sir. Do you bite your thumb at us, sir? Is the law of our side if I say A? No. No, sir, I do not bite my thumb at you, sir, but I bite my thumb, sir. Do you crow, sir? Crow, sir. No, sir. If you do, sir, I am for you. I serve as good as any man. No, better. Well, sir? Say better. Here comes one of our master kingsmen. Yes, better, sir. You lie. Draw if you be men. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Philip. Fantastic. Thank you.